Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I made my Mary Poppins hat. I'm going to be wearing this hat along with my Mary Poppins cosplay to Anime Boston 2018. So I found this hat at Savers for two or three dollars and I started off by cutting the brim off. I decided that I wanted to find a straw hat, but a lot of straw hats have a wider brim and Mary Poppins' hat is specifically more thin. So if you're going to be going with the straw hat look, you are probably going to have to cut the brim off. Um, if you want to keep the brim, you have a nice scarf. So there's that. I decided to take the whole brim off and there I am making the finished cut. Here is the brimless slash it still has a brim on hat. Um, I'm modeling it for you. Looks pretty good. So Mary Poppins' hat is black, and so I decided to turn the hat inside out, so I'm going to punch the hat and do that because I was originally going to paint it, but the inside of the hat was black, so I thought it might just be easier to put it inside out. I am cutting off the tag part of the hat, and there it is tagless. Um, later on, I am going to be putting a ribbon on this hat, so if you wanted to leave that black ribbon on and just cut off the white tag, you could always do that. Here, I cut off the top of the hat because Mary Poppins's Mary Poppins's hat is stout, and this hat was kind of tall. So I fixed this problem by cutting it and then regluing it with a shorter, like, with a shorter top. While I'm waiting for the hot glue to heat up, I am going to be cutting off my flowers. Later on, I realize that it's just easy if you just can pull the flower straight from the stem. Um, I found the flower and these cherry thingies from Michael's. Um, the cherry thingies were in the Christmas area, but um, I'm sure they're around annually. Each were about two to three dollars. So here is the hat without the brim, and this part was probably the most difficult. You are definitely going to burn your fingers a little bit if you're not careful. Um, so I glued the top of the hat itself and then pressed the brim into it. And I worked around the hat, so I would press a few sections at a time and then glue the next section and then press that. So I went around and I'm almost done with that. Um, lastly, I think this is that right now, I put a final rim of glue on the inside of the hat to keep it all in. And there is the hat all glued up. As you can see, it is a bit shorter, which is what I wanted. Um, now I'm going to be taking the ribbon and I'm going to be gluing that around it and that covers the cut that I just made. This ribbon I found, um, it was originally on the old hat, but you can always find a ribbon at your local craft store. I specifically liked this ribbon because it had kind of the folded look. Um, originally I wasn't going to put a ribbon on the hat, but then looking at pictures closely I realized that there was a ribbon on there. So I would say when you're going to be making a Mary Poppins hat, a ribbon is a must. So again, this is going to be a process that you want to be really careful because you are working with ribbon and hot glue, which can burn your fingers like I'm demonstrating right now. So once you glue the whole ribbon around the hat, you're going to start the process of the flowers. Um, I want to apologize for the sun that kept getting in front of my face. Um, I was not paying attention to my head position when I was filming. So here I'm demonstrating the flowers. You are going to put one on the front, one on the right, and one on the left. Um, I don't know if Mary Poppins has flowers on the back of her hat, um, but you can always put some on the back of the hat if you want. Um, I chose the most attractive side to put my flowers on, but if um, the least attractive side has like unattractive things toward the brim, you can always put the flowers in front of that and that'll hide it. So I put one daisy and then 
two cherries, like one on either side. And I'm showing you that right now. So that's the front of my hat. And I'm going to repeat that process two times. This you want to put a liberal amount of glue on because of um, the weird shape of the daisies and cherries. You don't want to have just a dab because they could easily be pulled off. So here's the finished product. I'm going to be making more videos about my process with um, making my Mary Poppins cosplay. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make your own Mary Poppins hat and share pictures in the comments. Um, I hope everyone has a good day and I'll see you later. Bye!